What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pair a controller with your iOS device to play Call of Duty Mobile. Now this does work on Android but I'm not sure what software you exactly have to have to then enable controller support but I know on an iOS device you have to be at at least iOS 13 for controller support to be enabled. So what you want to do is pick up your PS4 controller, hold the PS button and the share button at the exact same time and wait for the flashing white light when you see the flashing white light your controller is in pair mode and now what you want to do is pick up your iOS device let it be an iPad an iPhone go over to settings go to Bluetooth and you should see your DualShock 4 controller sitting there at the bottom click on that so your controller can pair with your iOS device and once that's finished you are officially paired you want to open up the Call of Duty mobile app and you want to ensure that you have the season 2 update that just came out this morning which also enables controller support so once you open up the app you'll see that your controller is immediately recognized you'll see a little one at the top of the controller tab click on that and start adjusting your settings the way you want you can flip your bumpers you can fix sensitivity and it'll then show you all the controls for call of duty mobile and from that point forward you can now use a controller and play any game mode that you want here within call of duty mobile now i know a lot of you guys out there were eager to play season two of call of duty mobile which is supposed to come out last night it was about 11 p.m my time when the update was supposed to drop i had my stream prepared so that I can then stream zombies for a couple of hours but the update got delayed for I think it was four to five hours so I ended up going to sleep woke up this morning and people were still having trouble getting this update downloaded on Call of Duty Mobile which is really unfortunate but maybe at some point either tonight or tomorrow I'll stream COD Mobile Zombies I'll do whatever videos are required for the modes in case you guys need any tips or tutorials or strategies I will be focusing on that for the next couple of days and I'll see what is worth covering when it comes to COD Mobile Zombies and other controller options that may be available but the other thing i wanted to bring up too is that an xbox one controller also works with this method you just have to make sure that you hit the pairing button on the back of the controller and it'll also pop up via bluetooth on your ios device and even in android if you guys are using that instead but again i'm not sure what software your android needs to be on to be able to run controller support i just know for a fact that ios devices just recently got controller support with the release of ios 13 but I'll also include gameplay in the background of summit team deathmatch which i played using a controller then after that i'll put in a tactical nuke gameplay that i got during its beta a little while ago but that is about it this has been dk dynamite leave all your thoughts down below in the comment section what other videos do you guys want to see when it comes to cod mobile zombies the battle royale are you excited for the new update are you upset that it took too many hours for it to release and it got delayed leave all your thoughts that is about it and peace out everybody
I took this job because it makes the world a safer place. And that safety is never guaranteed. But I know someone else is working to make the world a dangerous place. And that someone is still out there.